Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC, here on FM. And today we're going to play the final match of the season. This is the match that decides whether we are promoted without playoffs or whether we have to play some playoffs for the promotion. So the season went well. We we managed to hold on to the sort of free promotion spots. We didn't manage to hold on to the league. Birmingham really pushed throughout the, throughout the end of the season, but also we dipped quite a bit in our performance, so we were struggling to... I think we had a couple of losses as well, and we, we just kind of struggled to get wins as well. So, so we dipped a little bit in our performance, but nevertheless, we are in a really good position, bearing in mind we were just promoted this season, so we were never down here. We always, you know, we started straight away in eighth and then just kept going. We're, we were in first for a long time and then we dipped a little bit after the transfer window. Uh, I guess uh, the other teams also got reinforcements as well, which kind of, the fact that we weren't able to get reinforcements played against us. For the youth teams, uh, we had our youth intake for this year. It's not as good as previous years. But it's still good enough for us to, I think, win the league. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, we should be able to win the league. We've got one game left and we've got three points advantage. So we should be able to win the league. The under-21s weren't as lucky. Obviously, they've just had a fresh intake of um, people that got promoted from the under-18s. But uh, yeah, they haven't been able to uh, do anything with the league. So we are going to be stuck in this league for uh, the foreseeable future. Now, uh, cohesion-wise, we're good. We now have three team leaders, which is where we want to be. Um, yeah, so we're pretty good with that. Finance is our eyesore, really. We're doing really, really badly, basically pouring money. Um, if we look at our expenditure last month, the youth setup in and wages in general are costing us a lot. Youth setup in general is where we're shedding most of our money, but we have a good youth setup, so that's good. Um, in terms of income, yeah, just kind of we have a small stadium, so we're not able to gather as much uh, gate receipts as um, as um, other clubs. We have just cashed in on some. Um, clauses for two players that had been poached in previous years, so they finally come through to the youth uh, set up as, as 16 year olds. So I was able to sell those clauses off and make about 70k, I think. Now, we are going to play this last match. I think we have most of our players available, except Jarvis. Um, and I've, I've I've kind of swapped goalkeepers in the last few weeks. Uh, Thato has been doing okay. So we're going to give him a chance to finish the league. We only need a draw to have a straight promotion. Um, we might be okay with the loss. Because it's a three point difference between us and I think Nottingham. So we only need a draw to be safe. Um... But obviously, we're gonna we're gonna want to win, so that we can hold on to that second place. We are playing at home on a f what looks like to be a full stadium against Woking. Woking have just missed out on the playoffs, so they're not going to be playing in the playoffs. And uh, there we are, two minutes in, or oh, three minutes in nearly, and a goal. So we are losing, currently. Nottingham winning against Walsall. So at the moment, we'd be third placed. If Doncaster wins, or draws even, maybe they only need a draw, I don't know then we would be relegated to the playoff spot, the top playoff spot. Second goal. 
Maybe it wasn't such a good idea to rely on Thato, Thato for uh, the goalkeeping position. Obviously, any goal difference will affect us and our comparison with Nottingham. Oh, that's a really bad shot. Casey's going to try it and he has it in. He's carrying an injury. I wonder what kind of injury that is. Oh, that must have been just him tripping over his own legs because the referee didn't award a free kick. To just not being able to beat the defense. Obviously, we know that our attack lacks pace. In general, our team does lack pace. Nice to Casey, and Casey can put it in for the second goal. Two goals today for Casey, even though he's carrying an injury. And um, that brings us up level, which is good. It puts us in second place again. Red card, straight red card. Wow. Okay. That's going to help us out. Obviously, we're going to be winning in terms of numbers now. Stringer gets away. Oh, I just missed it. Missed it twice. <laughs> A really good play there. Just unlucky. A few millimeters, m millimeters off with that one. Okay, so let's see. Let's put the youngster on. Lower leg. Hmm. Let's see if he can make it through the game. He's doing really well. So Tomkinson's coming in. He was um, he's been brought up in our youth setup, and he played for us before in the senior team. He's now playing for the other twenty ones, but he's playing today. Just because we have uh, an injury, um, Fritz is, is um, injured. And now Stringer uh, just scored a goal as well. Let's see the replay of that. So from a free kick, bounced back, and then crossed into the box, I think. He just came in and... Whew. Very good. That secures our position a little bit more. Let's hope we can continue. I wasn't quite sure whether I should play Ross Lang actually, because he was a little bit tired, but I thought well, it's the last night game of the season. It doesn't matter if he exhausts himself, because he's not going to be playing for a while. And he's doing really well. He just assisted another goal for Casey. So the guys are giving everything today. Very good to see. And a lot of these guys, when we get the promotion, I think it's slightly unlikely that we'll keep a lot of them. Uh, obviously, it depends on the whole finance part of it. Um, we don't have money pre presently for transfers, so we're going to have to rely on free transfers and also uh, loans. But these guys, I didn't really refresh the team from, you know, at the stage we got promoted at the beginning of the season. So these guys are going to be playing essentially two leagues ahead of where they should be. So I, I doubt that we're going to see many of these faces again next season. But they are going out on a very good high. Well done for all of them. Whether or not they're with us next season, well done to all of them.
obviously a few of these guys are from loans. So uh, those for sure we might not see next season, unless we secure another loan again. But I'm hoping we're going to be able to make loans from higher teams, so young players from higher teams. Kind of like equivalent to our Nether 21s from top tiers. That's kind of the team I'm hoping to build. Casey, can you do a fourth go? He can indeed. I think that's his fourth, right? I'm pretty sure that's his fourth goal this this game. Let's see. Oh, I'm gonna do some subs now anyway. But yeah, Casey from assisted from Dylan once, from Lost Lang twice, and from Tom Tomkinson once. Wow, very good game for him, even though he's carrying that injury. He is doing a brilliant job. Now, uh, we're going to get in Chris Austin. Um, I'm going to be careful and get this guy out of here because he's got a yellow card. And got Blaine in. And Omar. Okay. Basically, I got like the worst performing players out, and everyone who's gelling well together, I'm leaving in, even though some of them are really tired. But um, you know, they're gelling well together, so let's them let them finish the game. That means we can finish in second place, only nine points behind Birmingham. We were doing so well at the beginning of the season, maintaining that first spot for a long time. But like realistically, with the team that we have, um, Birmingham is just miles ahead of us, to be fair. Um, so yeah, it was kind of not surprising that we kind of lost grap uh, grasp on it. 5-2 for our final match. It's a very good match. Lots of got goals for KC. Um, yeah. Let me just have a look to see before we look into these news items. I don't think he was anywhere near the top of the scoring table. No. But he managed to make it to the bottom of it, so which is nice. Uh, he managed to finish with most assists. That's good. Uh, none of our players really feature on this. Lot over that one. See that shouldn't be allowed. He only has he only has twenty six. So I suppose yeah. Okay, fair enough. But anyway, um, as far as uh, if you go at detail, our rating. Yeah, none of our players are up here. They used to be, but you know they dropped out a little bit. So. Okay, let's look at some news items then. Uh, he's got a calf strain. Okay, so he's going to be out for the summer, which is fine. He'll be back fine. Transfer budget is going to be, as expected, pretty much non-existent. Uh, da, da, da. Is this worth seeing? No, I don't think so. Okay. Um... Oh, 10k for achieving second place. Very good. Did I make it to the Legends yet? Not yet. That's really surprising. I'm only an icon, not a legend. I guess we're going to have to wait for the playoffs to get the end of season uh, usual thing. Got more supporters, more core supporters, less fair weather supporters. I think that's good. Yeah, because fair weather, they only support us if they are having success. Next season. Okay, let's see. 
let's negotiate all of this. This is a color plan, so it's not up to me, which is fine. Suggest. Okay, I have to accept that. So we're going to have to play direct football, counter-attacking football, defensive solid. Make the most of set pieces and contract maximum one year for players under the age of 32. I don't see a problem with that. I can have one more performance analyst. End of season team meeting. I always dread this one. Um, blah, blah, blah. Right, so. I'm so happy with the season. Promotion was fully deserved. But I will have to strengthen the squad to make sure we have a good chance as possible of avoiding relegation. I think that's a bit ambitious. <laughs> um, okay, I'm so happy with the promotion, but I know how hard it will be playing at a high level. With that in mind, I'll be strengthening the squad to help uh, our chance of staying up. I think this is probably the best bet. There we go. I didn't mess it up. I'm always afraid of messing this one up. Okay. And everybody's super happy, I think. Yeah, delighted. This guy's only content. But yeah, very good, very good. Let's see what happens with all the playoffs in this league. That was a fantastic last game. Really happy with that. Uh, also, just to mention, while we go through news items, that, um, oh, we won the league. There we go. Uh, that we, um, all of the new gens are up to be named on Patreon. So you just have to sign up for a new gen Patreon or a senior new gen Patreon. And then it's kind of first serve, uh, first come for first serve. And I'll name the best new gen um, after you. And then we'll follow the, the kind of the story, whether they are in the club or outside the club, we'll follow their story for as long as you keep being a member. So if you want to do that, you can go on to Patreon and sign up. I want to keep my my eye out for um, you know end of year awards and things like that, which is why we are continuing with this. Okay, fair enough. Record breakers, this is always interesting. Most uh, goals in a match, we just saw that happen before our eyes. Patrick Casey with four goals. Uh, most goals in the league, uh, game. High transfer fee paid by Finley Coleman. High transfer fee re received for Alex uh, Owens. It's a shame that we lost him, but you know, he kind of wasn't developing. I mean, he's really good. He's obviously going to be very, very good. But uh, yeah, just te technically, he wasn't developing mentally physically is great anyway fan player uh, of the season uh, our center back mr. lot you play the season Casey sign of the season Sai. he's also he's a right defender um, goal of the season for Casey top goal scorer with 17 goals most assists for Fettel most player of the match award for a general lot. General lot with the highest rating as well. And Harrison Burke with the most passes completed in 90 minutes. I'm going to skip the timeline for now. Finally, he's been in the club for ages. He's not a very good player, but he's been in the club for absolute donkey's years. Um, and he's finally been inducted to the, to the squad as a, as a striker, surprisingly. That is hilarious because he plays as a, as a right. Um, I mean, he does play as a striker sometimes um, when I rejig things during the game, but okay, fair enough. I'm surprised Casey isn't here. I mean, that would be more suit suitable, I think. So going through this, uh, players that are still currently with us, Owen, Burke, uh, Greg Young, 
Stringer is still with us, Faddle still with us, uh, Dylan still with us, uh, Adam O'Shea and um, Le Leighton Stewart, although Leighton Stewart this year was a bit overshadowed by Kate, Casey and Ben. So. Alright, playoffs have still not been played, so we're gonna continue. Got some new sponsorship deals. Scouting budget is poor, but it always is, so I guess it wouldn't be any different now with the fact that our finances are um, not in a very good state. Okay. Playoffs, come on. Um, there we go. They're going to start soon, I think. There we go. Oh, they're going to play, be played in two halves. First leg and second leg. Hmm. Interesting. It's an interesting league. And then I presume there's a final. Okay, so second leg's being played. Carlisle and Fleetwood. Where do they come in the league? Okay, they came 5th and 7th, so actually the lower teams. Interesting. And now they're going to play a final, I'm sure, between the two of them. scouting reports I wish there was like a, a review all button or something or at least that the button stayed in the same place and didn't jump around fun fact as well I just received in the mail this um, this week a FM shirt I apparently was runner up on the the Bruin uh, shirt contest. So um, I won, not the De Bruin shirt, obviously, but an FM shirt. So I got that in the um, in the mail this week, and I'm actually wearing it now. Uh, I've got one close to sell, but I don't think I'm going to sell it. Uh, it's not good enough, that price, so... Just gonna leave that. Ooh, Casey won the May Player of the uh, the Player of the Month, which is very good. And I won uh, Manager of the Month. Okay, the finals here, and after this, there will be some awards. I hope. Okay, Carlisle got promoted. Got uh, uh, quite a good payment for solidarity for playing. I think it's for playing young players. Carlisle is coming up with us. They managed to beat everybody else. And now we should be having some end of year awards. Oh, 90 points new record high without winning the title. So we broke that record. Just 
just waiting for the end of year awards whenever they come I'm hoping they'll come soon So yeah, so it's been a good a good save. So we're now up to Skybat League One. And that's gonna be, you know, really exciting to play actually. Uh, let me know in the comments if you've played Herophon and how far you took it. Um, and how long did it take you to get there and all that. So the transfer window is open. Um but we haven't had, so let me just look at the competitions again. Awards. Of the month, player of the year. Oh, we have had, what? We have had the awards, I just didn't see them. So we didn't win anything for player of the year. Uh, Golden Glove, League Two, no. Goal of the season. We weren't in that. Manager of the year wasn't me. Uh, we didn't have any players in the. That is a, a very unfair, I think. Top goal scorer obviously weren't in that. And uh, that's it. So we didn't get any awards, which is really, really annoying, seeing, seeing that we were first for the majority of the season, and we actually finished second, and none of our players got a mention in any, anything at all. Anyway, we are going to come back in um, uh, for the start of the season, uh, so watch out for that, and we'll see you there. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching until the end. Like and subscribe and all that. Take care. Bye-bye.